Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate this God today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together even on the Sabbath day. And as we meditate His word, surely God's word, God's uh, word and His truth will be imparted in our hearts and we will be drawn near to it and we will become more holy. As today is the Sabbath day, we, uh, I believe you are getting ready to go to your church and I encourage you go there as a family and as you go, go with an expectation that you shall receive something from God and surely whoever your pastor may be, God will speak to you through him. God will use his servant. So go with a prayer mind. Surely go prayerfully. Surely it will be a blessing to you. Today's meditation is from the same verse that you meditated yesterday. The Romans chapter 1 verse 25. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Amen. Who is forever praised. Amen. So that is the reason why Apostle Paul has written this phrase right here. It has been talking about the people who have not uh, given the glory that our God uh, deserves. It talks about the people who have not um, ready to give, the, um, give what our God deserves. So when he was talking about this, there is a break. Then he continues about it. The break is he, he is forever praised. The meaning, the reason why it has been mentioned here is there are people who don't give what God deserves. That doesn't mean that it will degrade God or it will take away the glory from God. It will, not, it will dishonor God. In other words, just because somebody is not worshipping God or somebody is not glorifying God, God has lost his glory. It doesn't mean just because somebody is not giving the honor that God deserves, God has lost his honor and God is dishonored. No way. Just because you don't worship God, that doesn't mean that God is dishonored. God is, God is not glorified and he, uh, he, he, has, he, has, he, has, he has become a cheap God. No way. He is forever praised. It is. It does not depend upon who is praising him. It does not dis, de, depend upon who is dishonoring him. But he alone is forever praised. Yes, our God is forever praised. Amen. 